In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix Minecraft authentication servers are currently not reachable. Now, there's many reasons why this issue could be happening. And the first thing you want to do is you want to check out your host file. Now, to do that, all you want to do is you want to go to the search bar. And then all you need to do is type in this PC. Then go ahead and press on enter. Once you're over here, please go ahead and locate disk C and just double click on it. Then from here, you want to go ahead and select on Windows, which should be located towards the bottom. Then after you're done with that, all you want to do is you want to go ahead and keep on scrolling down until you see system 32 and yep, here it is. So please go ahead and double click on system 32. Once you're over here, all you want to do is you want to scroll down until you find drivers. So drivers is right over here in all lowercase. Go ahead and double click on that one more time. All right. The next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and select over here where it does say, etc. Go ahead and double click on it and then you will notice that we will get a bunch of different files over here and you want to locate the file that actually does say host and we need to make some adjustments to that file because sometimes that file could be causing the issue and we need to go ahead and just change it up a little bit and then from there we should be able to fix the issue so all you want to do is you want to go ahead and double click on it then you're going to get a menu that looks like this it is going to ask you how you want to open this file but you guys could use any text editor you like for this video and just to keep things simple i'm going to be using notepad then all you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on okay then it is going to give you a screen that looks like this and basically if you see any entries like authentic server.mojang.com or session.minecraft.net you want to go ahead and remove them and then save the file and then see if that does work so i'm going to put them on the screen right now if you see any of those two entries go ahead and delete them also if you have like two extra lines at the bottom so notice how we got one line here and then another one right here you want to go ahead and delete those and see if that does work because those lines typically come from like antiviruses and stuff like that so go ahead and delete it and then from there go ahead and save this text file and see if it does work all right guys now from there all you want to do is you want to go ahead and see if you can join the server now if you're still running into some issues then what that likely means is that we need to make some adjustments to our firewall so let's go ahead and do that so what you want to do from here is you want to go to the search bar just like so and all you want to do is you want to type in windows security go ahead and press on open then all you want to do is you want to select on firewall and network protection then all you want to do is you want to go ahead and select over here where it says allow an app through firewall then it is going to give you a screen that looks like this and make sure you press on change settings. Once you're over here, all you want to do is you want to go ahead and keep on scrolling down until you see Minecraft. So we should be able to find it. Uh, yep, here it is. So you'll notice that we will have multiple different instances of Minecraft and you want to make sure that both private and public is turned on and you want to make sure that all instances of Minecraft is actually ticked on in order for it to work. And sometimes what could be happening is our firewall is blocking Minecraft from accessing servers. So we need to basically give the firewall permission to use Minecraft and therefore we can go ahead and use it on servers. So make sure to go ahead and check on all the boxes, both the private and the public, all instances of Minecraft. And of course, if you're on Minecraft Java Edition, you also want to make sure that all instances of Java is actually selected right over here. Same with Java TM platform SE binary. All right, so once you went ahead and made those changes, go ahead and try again and see if you can join the server. If you are still not able to join the server, then let's go ahead and try out clearing our DNS cache. Now to do that, all you want to do is you want to go to the uh, search bar one more time and type in CMD. And this is going to open the command prompt. Now for the command prompt, you want to go ahead and type in this particular command IP config and then slash flush DNS. Then go ahead and press on enter. It is now going to say successfully flush the DNS resolver cache. And that is basically going to restart the information on your desktop and make it so it's brand new. Because if you have like any type of corrupted files or anything like that, or excess cache, that could be also causing the issue. So this is incredibly important. Also, in general, whenever you are trying to join servers, just make sure that you do have a good and strong internet connection. I know that seems very obvious, guys, but sometimes we do things for a really long time that we forget the basic stuff. So if you need to, go ahead and reset your router. And I personally recommend using a wired connection if you're able to. Basically, one end of the cable goes to your PC and the other end of it goes to your router. And it is an Ethernet cable. You can get them for really cheap. They're really inexpensive and you can find them in any electronic store or hardware store. Also, what could be possible is that the server you're trying to join is just not working. It's down. So please verify that whatever server you're trying to join, that it's actually ready and available for multiplayer game. 
because if the server is not working or it's down, then regardless of what you do, then anything you do is not going to affect it. So please just make sure that the server you're trying to join is actually working and that it's valid. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next tutorial.